Hey, Gay Buds. It's Saturday. So this week is kind of like a bye week where we, we have a free week to talk about anything, really. Um, I will, First, I was going to talk about forgiving yourself, which is something that you must do in order to have a positive self-image in order to move on and actually be one with yourself. Then I was going to talk about the cancel plans I had prior and about how it just, that day seemed to go from bad to worse yesterday. But then again, I settled on something that I haven't, I a video, a shorter version at least, of The Five Love Languages, which is a book by Dr. Gary Chapman. And he discusses the five love languages and how they work. Everybody has uses all five of these, but one of them will speak will stick out more than some some of the other four. And we have secondary and tertiary love languages. But the first one is mine. It's quality time. This is how I express and how I receive love. When I look at those I care about, quality time is how I honestly gauge their interest. I desire face-to-face -face interaction, and when people don't spend time with me, I really wonder if they value me or not. Whether it's chatting on Facebook or a quick phone call, it's quality time to me. But the most precious is face-to-face -face time. The second one is words of affirmation. Different relationships have different love languages, and for me, in the fitness and YouTube world, words of affirmation are the way that I receive love and appreciation. Everyone wants to know that their efforts are appreciated, no matter what. The third one is gifts. A person who has this love language, is, language doesn't really care about the amount of money you spend on their gift. They just care that you thought about them. That, is, that may be what they need to speak to them in their own love language. Though this is not a love language that's strong in my life, it does have a place in how I give and receive love and affection. The fourth one is a particularly interesting one because this is kind of lacking in my love language, but it is, it is touch. Most often we associate touch with acts of sexual gratification, but when you watch Alien Nation, you will see how touch played an important role in relating to one another. Their main one, their, their, their main way of, of receiving love was this, was they, they would touch um, hand to the temple or um, they would both touch heads, and that was their kind of their way of doing that. People whose primary language is touch may desire closeness, cuddling, hugs. The last one, but definitely not least, is acts of service. Some people measure how you love them by the things you do for and with them. For this person, it doesn't matter how much you spend on a gift. What matters to them is that you help them do something that they probably would have struggled with on their own. Building that birdhouse for them, helping them clean up the house, doing some errands. That's how they receive love and affection. When someone speaks this love language, a phrase comes to mind. Love is what love does. So these are a brief synopsis of the five love languages and how we may speak them. I suggest getting the book by Dr. Gary Chapman and looking at blogs and videos of those who explain love languages a little more, a little further than I have uh, for the sake of time. So thank you, Gay Buds, and stay tuned for tomorrow's video from Eric. Like, comment, rate, subscribe.